Hello, welcome back to another Agisoft PhotoScan professional tutorial. In this tutorial, I will be going over some of the settings for aligning photos. So in the previous tutorial, we added photos and you can see the photos uh, as shown up in the model view. They can be toggled by toggling this camera button. Uh, and you can also view them. Uh, if you double click on a photo, it'll bring it open in the uh, near the model view. So as I mentioned, the next step is to align the photos. So on your works workflow view, you're going to see align photos right there. Um, accuracy, I generally recommend high. I have used highest on occasion. It seems to take quite a bit longer, but the results don't seem to be any better. So I find high as being very acceptable. Um, the accuracy, <clears throat> or sorry, below accuracy, you'll see the generic pre-selection and the reference uh, pre-selection. So if you have EXIF tags, you're gonna wanna go ahead and select the reference pre-selection. And you know, the generic pre-selection is, is basically something that is used for cameras without EXIF tags or photos without EXIF tags. Under advanced, uh, I recommend key point limit as being 120,000 and uh, tie point limit as being zero. So zero means there's no tie point limit and uh, limited only by the key point limit, which are 120,000 available per photo. Um, I think default on the key point limit is about 40,000. And this 120,000 seems to get better results. And going beyond that is diminishing returns. So I'll put a link in the show notes as far as, um, as, far as uh, the key point limit goes. Uh, and then adaptive camera model fitting. You should be using this if you're using a DJI product uh, for your data collection, which I am. So I'll put another link to a forum below so that if you have any um, questions about that, you can you can reference that. So uh, there you go. So now you can see the processing is in progress. And if you remember back to the pain viewing episode I did, you you do see that it will show you that it's actually working and uh, running through photos here and it shows you how many points. This is actually very useful for those situations where you um, you don't know if the processing is working. Maybe it seems like it's stuck on 90% for uh, five or 10 minutes with a really big data set. You'll actually see uh, the advancement here, uh, whereas you might not see it on the, on the bar itself. So hopefully this video is helpful. Please uh, subscribe to the channel like uh, uh, the video and share it if it's if it's useful to you. Thank you.